I'm not sure which one to use. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Flashing, right? I think I like you. I think I like you, but I don't know what to do. Oh, I think I want you. I think I found you with your blood. I residue. I've been to tip. I do apologize, Deb. I haven't so far. No, it should be okay. <laughs> okay, so that one was a katana. What's this one called again, Neb? Pirate Cutlass? I've got a sick pirate costume. You ever want to dress up as a pirate for Halloween? Yeah, you might not be able to bring this into a bar though. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. I always wanted to say that. This is freaking awesome. Yeah, you brought a pellet gun to my house party. You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Here we have Nick. He's our resident gun expert. Oh, dear God. He's also our hatchet expert. <laughs> and uh, what do you have in your hands there, Nick? Uh, this is just a standard 22. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, fairly common. Not a lot of kickback, not a lot of range, but still fairly nice because there's very little recoil. Okay, and to all our non-gun nerds who are still nerds, can you explain what 22 means? 22 is just the size of the bullet, and I believe a long time ago it used to be out of how to differentiate weight and size. There's an exact measurement for it, but it's millimeters? No. 0.22 millimeters? Is that? No, I think it's the diameter of the bullet. I think it's diameter and diameter and weight combination, I think. Certain okay. ones have certain ones make sense, certain ones don't. This is one of the ones that kind of makes a bit of sense, but not a lot of them do. Okay. Yeah, because there's a 357 and 44 and yeah. Or there's some that just don't make any sense at all. Okay. Alright. Alright, so you are going to shoot a pumpkin. Um, I'm going to attempt to zoom in. This is a digital zoom. This camera isn't as good as the other one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is way out of focus here. So I'm going to film you shooting the thing and the camera's running. So, and do we cover our ears? How loud is it going to get? Okay.
That echo was great. I could also smell that a gun went off. Did you get it? Oh, it looks like you hit it. I can still shoot at it more if you guys want. No, no, no. I want to go inspect the damage. We also got Neb, our intern here, who brought some uh, hearing protection. I should have thought of that. That's okay. Well, we have more earplugs if you want. You do? Oh, man, look at that. Uh, all right. Whoa, it looks like a kind of a face, two eyes. And that's from about 20. So, so I'm guessing this is a single bullet that went through here. And then the... Uh, uh, nope. And no. then this... This was the skin here and there. Yeah, so skin there and, and then one no, through there. Oh, through. okay, so it was like um, in and out. Uh, like a graze, but kind of... Yeah, so either way. What's that pumpkin? You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> You're right! Pretty simple, straightforward, and as those of you who know guns a little bit, this is a bolt action. Okay, so yes. The last one we had was semi-automatic, so you just pull the trigger, it cycles at night, because there's nothing left in the magazine. This one you have to cycle it each time. Yes, so ch -ch -ch bam, ch -ch -ch bam. Yeah. Old school. The biggest concern is this one, I think I have to kind of slide in farther than that, so I'll see if I can hit it in the first try. What are the advantages to a bolt action? Does that have something to do with the reliability of the gun? More accuracy. Okay. And what kind of gun is that, can you say? 223. 223. Oh, he's sniping it. Oh, oh man. Hold up, one more time here, Pat. You got it? It must have been pretty damn loud because I've felt vibrations and stuff. All right. Neb, I need you to show me. Oh man, I can smell the gunpowder. Oh, that was real murder. <laughs> that pumpkin done effed up. So the bullet came in there? Oh. No, there was the second bullet probably when it was on the ground, so you could fire there and then oh. left that way. But so like he hit him with the first one. I, I didn't watch, I was just filming him. Okay, I think the first one went through here. Wow, look at the cracks. Yeah. You know, it's like um, uh, when you see shattered glass. That pumpkin is done, son. Yeah. Good job. You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> You're right. So, you guys will recognize this sound. I'm pretty sure every video game person does. That's nice. That's right there what it is. Yeah. Pump action shotgun. Yeah. This one is a little bit nicer. I like this a little bit more than the standard 12. This is a 20 gauge, so it's a smaller gauge, but I find I can be quicker with it than I can with a standard 12. Okay, in case there's like a whole pack of wild animals heading straight for you? No, more like uh, I do a lot of bird shooting. Okay. So I find you can track the bird quicker in the area with the 20 gauge because it's lighter. Oh, really? Can we go play duck hunt for real? Okay. For realsies? Okay. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay. And uh, how far are you from that pumpkin? The thing with shotguns is the farther you are, from this, the farther you are from the target, the less chance you have critically hitting it. That's right. So That's right. right. We've all played Doom. We're about maybe 10 yards from the target right here. And we're going to try slug. Yep. So it's one large bullet compared to several small pellets. Yep. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so then, will I be okay over there? Oh yeah, you'll be fine over there. Okay. All right, a second. All right, so how loud is this gonna be? Because they've been getting progressively louder. Fairly loud. Okay. That was pretty good. And you got it, let's take a look. It's an overkill, essentially. Oh man. Okay, because it's a slug. One big projectile. Yeah, that'll kill a zombie, for sure. This pumpkin, take a look at it, it's totally got a smiley face on it. That, you know, I, I might keep this one, just the way it is, and put two eyes in it. Okay, now it's time for the scatter shot. You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> You're right. So we're back to our friend the shotgun again. This time we're using different ammo. This time we're using scatter shot. Okay. In this case, it's just a number six. No, five. Scatter shot's what you'd use against the crowd of zombies, right? Crowd of zombies, birds, lots of things you're not quite sure you want to hit, but you just want to spray something in the direction. <laughs> see what happens. All right. What's the difference between a scatter shot and uh, like a shotgun shell? This is scatter shot. Uh, what's a different name for it? Bunch of metal balls that go in multiple directions that shred through meat. Yeah. Right? Or pumpkins in this case. So this will obliterate it, right? Oh yeah. Alright. Man, 
like burned okay. into so the pumpkin. Big one. Um, so oh, okay, okay. Little, little pieces here. That's the shot hitting it. All right, let's see the top. That was the top. Would you be willing to stand closer to it? To uh, like eventually, but the thing it, it doesn't. I'm not using a very good shot for that. Oh, okay. I'm using small shot, mm. so it's not going to do a good representation. But as you can see, it does it does enough damage to it. Yeah. Uh, there, there was there. an original shot too, but this is the new shot, right? There's several new shots. Okay. You can see all those holes. Mm -hmm. You were almost a jiffle sandwich. <laughs> you're right. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is my favorite one personally, just because I love a good lever action. The cowboy in me refuses to die. <laughs> this is a 4570 Marlin lever action gun. Any good cowboy movie you've seen? Yeah. Oh, nice. Like the Terminator also. Nev is way down there. How far is that? Do you know? Uh, that's 125 yards. Okay, perfect. For our American audience. Good to go. Don't think I hit him. Sadly, we had a no-hit wonder here. Yeah. Three shots, no hits. I was just above it from what I saw. However, you guys can kind of tell I was getting a bit dark out. Yeah. I don't have a very good night scope. Oh no, you know what? We'll do a wrap and uh, we'll uh, hit the rest of the pumpkins when we got some light. However, in my defense, as Neb was saying, not a very good zombie bullet, zombie gun, but I'd say by looking at the size of that bullet. Yeah, you got one destroyed pumpkin. Good point. If your aim's good. Yeah. <laughs> you were almost a jiffle sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Guns, 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 guns,